you can say that I'm a pure product of Ecole Polytechnique because uh, it's been seven and a half years that I'm here on the campus. Uh, if you accept the internships I did, I spent at least five and a half years uh, here. So I really spent a lot of time studying and doing research uh, in, on this campus and in, the, in this environment. I started uh, so seven and a half years ago uh, in the Ecole d'Ingénieur uh, uh, studies where, st where we had a broad range of subjects that we could study from physics to, um, uh, to mechanical engineering to economics. It was very, very broad. And then uh, little by little, I focused more on a major called uh, uh, 21st century energies. So during these courses, we had an overview of what was possible in the energies uh, on the 21st centuries, including renewable energies, of course. And during these uh, courses, I took a, a project in research, a research project on photovoltaics and solar cell. And I was really appealed to these uh, physical objects. I wanted to go further in this investigation of these uh, subjects. So I did an internship in the University of Houston to confirm my interest in the research on solar cells. Uh, so it was a, a research uh, internship on um, high efficiency solar cell for spatial applications. And then uh, I, it confirmed my interest for photovoltaics. So I continued in a master's here at Ecole Polytechnique called Master REST, which stands for uh, Renewable Energy Science and Technology. And at the end of this uh, master's, I, ch I chose to continue in a PhD for a PhD. And I uh, did my PhD uh, with a industrial uh, grant. So I, I was funded by Total. And my, my, my PhD was uh, done here at Ecole Polytechnique in a laboratory called uh, uh, LPICM, so Laboratoire d'Interface et Couchements, which is a laboratory for interface and thin films uh, for different kinds of applications. The subject of my PhD was to investigate crystalline silicon solar cell with a uh, broad new uh, microscopy technique called scanning probe microscopy techniques. And the interest was to find uh, small defects and defective interface in the solar cell in or order to improve the efficiencies. So I just graduated uh, two months ago uh, from my PhD, so I'm, I'm really happy uh, to, to, to have done my, all my studies here at Ecole Polytechnique. It was a great atmosphere. Uh, being a civil scholarship for me, it's a real honor. Uh, I feel uh, really great to, 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 to have the chance to be a civil scholar. Uh, I think uh, besides the financial interest, there are three main ways I will benefit from being a civil scholar. Uh, first, I think it's an international distinction uh, that is quite well known in the academic and in the industry. Uh, today there are over 1,000 uh, civil scholars around the world uh, from very prestigious universities and some of them are very high positioned in the industry. For example, the new CEO of, of Google. Uh, so I think uh, by interacting uh, with these bright people, this is a, a great chance for me. And uh, this is my second point. It's a great network of uh, people that, have, that can think together about societal issues and uh, problematics that uh, humankind uh, can face, such as global warming or uh, cybersecurity or uh, issues that we now face and that, that is easier to discuss with people with different backgrounds and different cultures. I think we have more uh, chances to have uh, uh, new ideas coming up. And finally, it's a great opportunity to attend uh, conferences with uh, well-known experts on topics that uh, we may be expert in or not, and to open our horizon to new problematics and new, uh, and new issues we want to address. Due to my experience here at Ecole Polytechnique, it really confirmed my interest for research, and in particular, industrial research. I'm really interested in uh, working for a research topic that have uh, industrial applications, so I want to push forward in this uh, direction. I was also very interested in dealing with uh, sustainable development uh, issues and uh, energy uh, issues such as energy efficiency for instance. So I would like to continue on these topics because uh, they seem uh, very uh, important to me. So it's really uh, a motivation to get up in the morning and go work for, for these uh, this, uh, issues. And, uh, but in terms of subjects, I'm not, I, I, I may go for uh, something slightly different. I might go for uh, big data analysis. Uh, in order to start a new learning curve and uh, open my horizon to new techniques. Uh, my PhD was very experimental, but now I want to uh, investigate uh, more um, uh, software and, uh, and uh, internet uh, solutions to problems. And I think that with these techniques, we have uh, 
a good opportunity to have uh, important impacts on the way we are seeing the world and the, world, the way we can address uh, critical issues.